passion, creativity, fellowship, and friends. The Perfect Mix. PC House Productions. Okay, so the mission tonight, two missions actually. I'm making gourmet nachos and salsa for the big dinner. And then I've got a committee meeting where I've got to do some portobello mushroom things. And we'll see how that works out. But the, the nachos I'm very excited about. What do you think, Billy? Yes. Yeah. Nachos. Very excited about the nachos. Okay, here we go. The last, here we are at the cheese section. The cheese section is going to be very important for nachos if you catch my drift. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking the pork wine. You know why? Because who doesn't love wine? Who does not love wine? So what we're talking about here on a budget, I've got $70, seven people, $10 a hit. We've got uh, $14. Oh boy, oh there we go. Another eight dollars. So that's twenty-two. And five fifty. Let's see, six dollars. So we're at twenty-eight dollars already just on cheeses. Oh. Oh no. No no no. Oh, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Four beautiful tomatoes for the salsa. Alright, now uh we gotta put them in a bag. <laughs> well, presentation's very important. Although I suck at it, I'm doing my best I can. I'm doing the best I can, I'm sorry. Billy's right. <laughs> Billy's right, I can get it all packaged up. Those actually look very good. I'm gonna get three packs. Now this is for, uh, we're already at $28 with the cheese. $6 for the peppers. Okay, so that puts us at 34. I'm buying two portobello mushrooms packs for the uh, for the night of uh, the two. Five dollars, so we're at 39 dollars. Now I haven't tried these. What is your experience with these? Try these. So this is an experiment, is what you're talking about. All right, here's the deal. We're gonna put this in the cart, but it's gonna it could be a casualty of war. Depending on what happens along the way. Can't sacrifice taste, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you make a good point. But what if I go over budget? <laughs> okay. <laughs> that could have been a problem. A couple good white onions. We're at about uh, $46 at this point. Oh, the beans. Okay. So for the beans, definitely gonna have black beans, no question about it. So here we're at three bucks, a little over three dollars. So that puts us at about. Look at how sturdy that can is, unbelievable. And it's already shaken up, so you don't have to worry about that. Oh, zero grams of trans fat. That's what I'm talking about. Can I make chips in this? You think? Yeah. All right. All right. That's what we're gonna do then. I'm gonna make my own chips. Scratch. Are you excited? I am. All right, that puts us at uh, that puts us at about sixty-four dollars. And garlic pesto. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> there, boy, I am kind of a clumsy chef, but it won't be so bad when I'm behind the oven. It's, you know, it's gonna be close. It's gonna be very close. I'm trying to stay in our seventy-dollar budget. Here comes the cheese. Ouch! Ouch! Oh, there it goes. $80, $82, $12 over budget. $12 over budget. It's not bad, you're feeding six people, seven people. Seven people, not good. We had a, we had a budget of 70 and I blew it. <laughs> Just goes to show you why I'm a comic chef. <laughs> All right, here it is. All right, so if I'm gonna be perfectly honest, what I did the next evening is I went back to the store and bought even more things for the gourmet nachos. I started thinking I need some meat for this thing. Uh, I need, so I got some boar's head lunch meat, three different kinds. I needed some sun-dried tomatoes. 
the list went on and on and on and on, and before you knew it, I was well into these nachos, $150 or more. But hey, I'm not an accountant, I'm a common chef. The uh, common chef, and yeah, I've already been told there's too much food and uh, way too extravagant, but we're gonna see what it turns out like. Yeah, we'll see what it turns out like, all right. Corn chips, flour tortillas, uh, something like that. I'm doing a mixture of all kinds. You can see these are the tomato flour tortillas that I've been working on. These are corn chips in here. All right, here's what we got. Roasted asparagus. Basically, uh, asparagus in olive oil, some nice seasonings on top, the Cajun seasoning, a salt seasoning, and, uh, uh, aha, rosemary garlic. Never leave home with that. And then uh, squeeze lime on top, roast it in the oven for about 10, 12 minutes, cut it into squares. We have cilantro here, we have olives here, we've got roasted red, roasted bell peppers here, we've got a myriad of beans here, black beans, red beans, garbanzo beans, we have mushrooms, several kinds of cheeses, sun-dried tomatoes, and uh, the first layer of chips. Now what you want to do, what I like to do, is make sure that every nacho has Every chip has to have something on it. I mean, you know when you go to the restaurant and you get nachos and like you eat the first few and then the ones underneath don't have anything on it? <sighs> We're not gonna do that here. This is gonna be the real deal. Everything's getting something on it and everything that goes on is gonna be beautiful. Oh, ow, oh, oh, that's right, ow. All right, we're about to pull out Mount Ridiculous out of the oven just to see what it looks like. It's been 45 minutes on 350 degrees. I feel good about this. I know. Was that on purpose? <laughs> no. Wow. What? It could be a masterpiece. We haven't tried it yet, but, oh. It could be a masterpiece. We haven't tried it yet, but I'm feeling pretty doggone good about this. Oh, yeah, you yes! <laughs> this is the one we're using. Billy, right here. I would say let the this let the, the guy who created this go first, but since you're just forget it, that. Oh yeah. For the record, I have to say, I am sorry I doubted you, sir. It is taken forever. <laughs> It has been a while. The prep time was ridiculous. We we're way over budget, but these are absolutely amazing. You know what I like most about this dish? There's so many flavors that every bite you get a different, wow, so different. you get a different flavor with every single bite. And you know what? When you do something that's never been done before, who else has put roasted asparagus on nachos before? Huh? Nobody. No. Nope. Nobody I know. Well. We're all wrapped up. As you see, the nachos are uh, covered. Yeah. There's not much left. I think the important thing to note at this juncture of the evening is that you cannot judge a book by its cover. Yes, I walked in with 20, 30 bags worth of stuff. and That's the moral? Everybody was thinking, well, I am the moral compass. Yeah. The moral compass? Indeed. Everybody was thinking, what, are you crazy? Are you nuts? And I thought, yeah, I am a little nuts. But at the end of, at the, end of the day, it really was fabulous, and I think that we might have hit upon an idea for our restaurant. All right. Anyway, thanks for joining us this evening. We, re we really appreciate it. We uh, hope that you'll join us next week Absolutely. on The Common Chef. <laughs> and cut. <laughs> He's all excited looking. He's just waiting for He doesn't something. know what's going on. He's so <laughs> right now. Hey.